Boom, welcome back to Half That, episode 50. We got this going, got my guy Serge in the building. We got to say what it's up to break a little Germ. Hopefully <laughs> looking like a Nintendo character. You got to do yeah, that yeah. sometimes. A Nintendo character? Which one? That like that <laughs> Double Dragon and shit. Ooh, Double Dragon. <laughs> I love that game. Nah, yeah, I, don't know. I remember that shit. So yeah, welcome back, That's guys. How y'all been? Okay, How was your week? Chilling. Tired. How was your week? Actually, week? Yeah. It's actually been a week, yeah. It's, it's been, been a week, right. yeah. That's, we get, like, you know, uh, we drop one well, episode, then a week goes by, then another yeah. episode comes out. Like, yeah, that. how's your week, yeah. man? It's been all right. I mean, mainly I just do is work, so. I actually went to a karaoke bar on Friday. You went to a karaoke bar? Wow. Where the fuck was the invite? You have to be vaccinated to get in. Oh, shit. It's I got a card. Oh, I'm vaccinated. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, shit. He had work, Fuck so. me, I guess. He had work. I, I ain't. Oh, y'all see how y'all just splitting up friends and shit? Oh, you got to be vaccinated to come hang out with us. I mean, it's true. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> hey, bro, I mean, fuck, I tell you what I'm doing this weekend, you get mad about it. Damn, because you told me you didn't even invite me because I thought I was your friend. We do this podcast every fucking week, but we can't fucking go to a fucking karaoke on Friday. It was not my thing to buy. God damn, and then his excuse is you were not vaccinated. <laughs> well, it was in the city. He was in the city? That's even more oh, fun. So it, was, you it, was too, it was too far for him to drive no, or what? The city requires vaccination cards. Oh, so I to get into the San Francisco, they stop no, you on the, the fucking the, freeway the, uh, and they be like, let me see your vaccination? No. In the karaoke bar. In the karaoke bar. But I could have went, went down the block and did something else. We could have just you enjoyed our time in San Francisco. You would have done that. I know I wouldn't have. But yeah, <laughs> how was your week? <laughs> a lot of work. It was good though. <laughs> Busy. My dog had a birthday party. Oh, yeah, Shout out to Cat. about that. We were there. My dog <laughs> had his first birthday. See, he invites me to things. He's so spoiled, dude. Fucking dog. <laughs> that dog is I love that spoiled. guy. But he really had a birthday party. He had a so. cake, too. But that was the first time and I've ever had... been to an animal's fucking birthday party. He actually, today's actually his real birthday. And he's having the day of his life. He got an In-N-Out burger. He got a puppuccino. I didn't get that shit for my birthday. What the fuck? You're not a <laughs> fucking puppy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you want a puppuccino for your birthday? Why the fuck not? Alright, we'll get him next time. You're reversing the fucking Puppuccino, dude. Give him a couple whipped creams. He's jealous of his own dog that he provided for. <laughs> he so probably, I didn't get this shit. Why am I gonna it. get it? He probably bought it, too. Bro, you ever bought your uh, your cat? No. A birthday present? Okay. No. I have. I have Would you buy your cat? Uh, I didn't really buy it, but it was like an extra can of tuna in there, so I just put it on the plate. It was like, happy birthday. Okay. <laughs> my, dog, <laughs> I ain't really. my dog got a gold chain. <laughs> my God. Fre- two fucking jerseys. Already shitting on my cats. <laughs> and like four toys. Bro, and he a cake. Had a- <laughs> yeah, he did get a cake. How old is he? One. One. Bro, his first birthday was so much better than mine's. <laughs> then your first birthday? Hell yeah. Okay. And then when I was leaving the film right now, he's like barking at me. He's like, don't leave. It. He was throwing a tantrum, bro. He's like, you're really going to leave? It's my birthday. I was like, dude. You don't leave my birthday? You just had a fucking sick ass birthday. You better shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude. So you shout him happy birthday. Shout out to Cash. Happy shout birthday to, to Cash. Cash. If you're watching this, he does watch it sometimes. Bro, he's like one of our main supporters, bro. Hell yeah. Shout out Cash. Shout out to Cash. He loves his show. Yeah. Shit was cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, just working. Other than that, just working, bro. I'm like seven days straight. So. Oh, you're, you're dead right now. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I'm glad to hear that. That you're just working. Yeah. yeah. Keep you sane. Um, Weird topics that I found over the weekend. Go ahead, shoot. Do you have any? Do I have any? Yeah. Uh, I got a quick little. Uh, so this update. This dude stole like ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars from his wife, and then decided to use that ten thousand dollars and place a bet, and won a hundred million, and only gave her ten thousand dollars back, and now she's hella wow. mad and she wants like what forty million. Hold on, what was? Yeah, I feel he's right for that. You know, do you know what the bet was? Yeah. Nah, I don't know no. what the bet was. And not that it makes it more right, but. Where are you putting ten thousand dollars winning a hundred million? I don't even know these odds. That's shit, you probably can put that shit down on a base, like couple baseball games. That's what hundred times your odds, right? Ten thousand to a hundred million. Yeah, that's like ten. That's like one to a thousand, isn't it? He probably put that shit down on that uh, Jake, Paul. Jake Paul fight. <laughs> we definitely gotta go through that, but not right now. Hold on, quick second. What yeah. was, 
Well, would, I, would you I, be mad if your if your person like put yourself in her shoes? Yeah, I'd be mad. You'd be mad because I'm the one that's losing the money. If they does lose, but check it, you didn't really lose no money. He came. You didn't even know it was but gone. But if it wasn't for me to have the ten thousand dollars, you wouldn't be able to place that bet. But hold up, you didn't know it was gone. But still, it doesn't matter. It's the principle. If that money was stolen though, couldn't you just file like a police claim and get your money back? I'll probably I wouldn't be able, to, wouldn't be able to, to get my money back. Yeah, go to a small claims court. Who am I suing? Did they do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Her oh. husband. My husband? Yeah, it was her husband. That's crazy though. I don't know. I, I think it's fucked up. She should have got at least. I don't think she did. She at least give got her anything. A, wait, they're, if they're married, then she got everything. Bro, no, that doesn't mean anything. Does it? No, no, until no. until it, she gets a divorce, and then. But <clears throat> wait, they were married or boyfriend and girlfriend? Let me look it up. She probably said boyfriend, detail. husband. But I think you're right. I think it's boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay, it's, yeah. No, it says yeah. girlfriend. Girlfriend, yes. yeah. Girlfriend. See, all right, so then they broke up. They break up. They got she got nothing out of it, except yeah. she could have lost ten thousand. I'd be pissed. I think we're getting ahead of the fact of the of the <laughs> point that she got her ten thousand dollars back. But it's it not like she didn't get it back. If there wasn't originally ten thousand dollars, he wouldn't be able to place a bet. If it wasn't for a, B that's like that me happened. taking your car, mm -hmm. getting into high speed, mm -hmm. and then just be like, "Well, it don't matter. You got your car back." Nah, that's not the same because there's there's traces back where I could get hemmed up for. It's like actually you get even worse because in the high speed, you don't get nothing out of it. Maybe you, maybe you robbed the bank or something. I don't know, <laughs> but. You wasn't, you wasn't going to give me this $10,000 to place this bet. It's not like you. it was your intentions to be like, all right, here goes this 10000 I want some bet. I just swiped it from you. I knew I was going to win. That's why I placed the bet. it was my money. Hmm? It was my money originally. And if it wasn't for my money, you wouldn't have had your money to make the bet and get the, get the bet that you did. So, yes, breaking up a million. Something. I'm breaking you off your ten thousand that you said I couldn't have in the first place that you didn't believe in me to get this fucking hundred million. Now I got this hundred million. How do you know that he mm -hmm. asked her for the money and she said no? Cause that's what women do. <laughs> 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 Tell me something that they say yes to. My fault. Go ahead. <laughs> On to weirder topics. <laughs> no, so I, I I disagree with it. I think he, she should have got more money. Mm. Cause it's my money, end of the day. Anyway, dude, if you want a hundred million, you ain't gonna give an extra ten thousand, at least double her money. Up. Yeah, you nah, a bum. Nah, I'm you a really a bum. I'm a hundred million dollar bum. <laughs> That's fucked up. Still a bum. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna go get another girlfriend. Fuck you and your ten thousand dollars, bitch. Yeah. And that's how your hundred million's gonna get drain out faster. Shit, if he was already, if he Here was like, deeper thought. if he was at the end, like he was like, I'm gonna break up with this girl anyway. Then I get it. Just give her the ten thousand back, like, I was done with you anyway. <laughs> That's all I needed you for. I seen you save up for this. Nah, man. But let's talk about how the odds of that. That guy lucked out, dude. Shout out to that guy making that bet. For yeah. real. Yeah. That's yeah, whatever you made props. props. Yeah, we have to give him props because he made a crazy bet. Let's not focus on the negative. <laughs> right. I think that's the moral of the story here. Don't focus on the negative. He won a lot of money. That's yeah. what I'm Let's saying. He won a lot of money and he gave her her money back, which is a positive. No, we he, don't gotta get into that. Yeah, we don't have to give out giving her money yeah. back. We just gotta get how he did that bet. That's crazy. Like he should like open up a sports book and just start like <laughs> a YouTube channel. Just like how do you make bets? I'm with that. Cause that's amazing. That's a cr crazy bet. So what would you put your bet on? This is another weird topic. If this is a shout out to Shea Baby TV, cause I saw this on his shit. If Jet, if a uh, Bruce Lee, mm -hmm. fucking Mike Tyson, who else was it? Uh, who's someone else? Kimbo Slice. Kimbo Slice and fuck who was that on there it was somebody else oh conor mcgregor okay so bruce lee conor mcgregor kimbo slice and mike tyson all right can i ask you a couple questions can mm -hmm. i ask a question it's a street fight or is it like an extra boxing fight or it's like... a fight it's okay. like and where is it where is it the, like... is it is it all four at once or just who who <laughs> all four Wait, at once no no and i think it too is like, i'm just saying bro if it's all out another thing too is like how, i might go kimbo is it like in a, is it like in a small room a backyard or like let's just say octagon but there's not mich it's not I, no it's the size of octagon yeah. but you, it's like a street fight yeah i'm taking mike tyson you taking mike tyson on a street fight i'm taking kimbo slice i'm yeah. taking mike tyson uh i'll put ten thousand dollars on mike tyson and then are we talking prime or are we talking like we're talking prime. prime well i mean obviously 
Is Kim, didn't Kimbo pass away? Yeah, he was. He, was, he was way prime. out of his prime when he, he was way out of his prime. No, but I'm just saying, regardless. Okay, so prime. So you said Kimbo, who you got? I think I'm gonna go with Bruce. Okay, I'm gonna go with so Bruce. So first of all, let's let's look at the let's look I at Bruce the, gonna counter all that bullshit. Let's, 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 let's look at everybody's. <laughs> it's not Connor. stature. Let's huh? look at everybody's stature. Mm -hmm. So Bruce Lee is probably one thirty, right? All right. One thirty around there, lean muscle. Mm -hmm. Mike Tyson's what five eight, five nine, pushing almost two hundred. Mm. Pure big muscle. Right. What's it called? Kimbo Slice is like six something, two something. But between him and Tyson, who has the better hands? I'm gonna go with Tyson. All right, now we're going to Conor yeah, McGregor. Yeah, obviously do. Conor McGregor cannot. He's not gonna beat him. But we're talking about an all-out fight. We're not talking about boxing. Yeah, right? we're not. We're if not you sticking tie, to if your. If you take strength. a boxer and you put, you put him, him in an MMA ring, yeah, they're yeah, gonna flop. Right. Yeah, I think Conor McGregor would kick Mike Tyson's legs off before he even swings. Do you at him. see it? I'm just saying. I'm yeah, just being. Yeah, yeah. I'm right, just yeah. being okay. logical. Mean, like he don't have to stand in front of you to kick you. Fight. I, I, you got to give it to the street fighter, bro. Like, <laughs> but in my but in my, you could go Bruce Lee. I think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bruce, go Bruce Lee. He's gonna counter. Everything is a counter. I think there's Bruce no chance it's Conor. Like, yeah, it's okay, just we not can we can vote that Conor's out. I For think Conor will probably take out take out a boxer. Okay, but whatever. It if don't he, if, it's if you put if it. you put a like his MMA skill in a boxing ring, like not Mike, in, not Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson Kimbo Slice, they can't get okay. down to the. Let legs. me ask you a question. He ain't taking out Mike. Conor McGregor is like one thirty as well. Okay, I don't think he can lift Mike Tyson. He cannot take Mike or Tyson. Kimbo Slice. I think he can lift him. Yes, he can. He cannot. This fool's lift a light. Him. This fool's like light, 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 dude. <laughs> but they train <laughs> to lift this type of weight. Not to fight against these type of people. Probably can't take a punch straight to the face from this nigga. But to lift that type of weight, he trains for that type of shit. No. I don't know. But I'm not but saying Conor, Conor McGregor is going to win. I'm not yeah. saying he's going to win. I don't know. Conor but I'm saying is, it's going to be a, it's not going to be like some knockout Mike Tyson. I think honestly, Kimbo is gonna like, I think Kimbo, Kimbo would be the, the, the worst one out of them. Kimbo was good against street fighting guys that are not even professional fighters. Mm, this is where Mike Tyson was fighting people who were at the age of 20 won a, a heavyweight title. Yeah. Knocking out guys that are like th uh, 25, 26, 20, 30. Right. These guys been in the, the boxing thing. So forever. who you picking? You I'm going Mike Tyson. I still stick with Kimbo. I'm, going Bruce, I'm going Bruce Lee. I, All right, well, then we're back that's in the same that. place. That's that. Started. That's that. <laughs> well, you know what? I, that's going to be hard. Mike Tyson and Bruce Lee, I, I respect. Respect to all of them. Respect to all of them. Yeah. That's my choice. What's your next weird topic that you found? Uh... So I don't know if you guys seen that video that I posted on my story, but uh, the whole eat a booty gang. Eat booty gang. Trick daddy, fucking trick daddy been wild trick, out trick here. Trick daddy's talking about how he gets his ass ate. So uh, Noriega was uh, asking him about like you know eat a booty gang, and he goes, "Yeah, girls do it." And he's like, "You tell me you get your ass ate?" He's like, "Yeah, I get my ass ate." And he goes, "You put your legs up and all that." And he's like, "It depends." It depends. <laughs> I seen that shit, dude. First of all, the memes are that's, hilarious. Who is eating trick daddy's ass? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Whoever ate Trick Daddy's ass, they started Corona, bro. But it's how the shit in Miami. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> it's that is disgusting, shit. bro. That is disgusting. <laughs> it's hot as hell in out there, bro. Fuck. I feel like, didn't he, in the video, didn't he say, like, yeah, I gotta eat out? There's some shit. Yeah, yeah, he said, yeah, 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 yeah. He, said, he does. Bro, he, does. He gets, Why bro. you say it like that, bro? Why he get... And, okay. Hold on, tell me, tell me, tell me. Because... This this girls that's doing this for him to to get this done to him this this girls out there that's that's volunteering their 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 oral and like how do you convince like if you trick daddy like you're not big anymore like how you how you convince a girl to eat your ass? Well, and, girls and, are into this shit. Are you gonna say trick lot of kids? Girls shit? are into this type of shit. That's disgusting. So right. my next question to you guys is: uh, Would you y'all you know, letting girls eat your ass? Like on some real shit? Damn, you just made me feel hell uncomfortable. No. Not, not at all? Not at all. For you? Nope. Yeah. That's no. That's no. <laughs> I already know you are, but. Hell no. That's disgusting. The fuck? Bro, you're single. You gotta do everything you can. You gotta keep them entertained. I'm not getting my ass I mean, shit. that's that, that. I mean, like, girls out there like this type of shit. Like, that's they so like. Disgusting. If, if, if this type of shit is being done voluntarily, they're doing this type of shit. This shit is gross. And you got to do it. And I'm not doing it. <clears throat> so if a girl that you're dating is like, yep. yeah, I'm, I'm into this. She's like, everything you dream for. And she wanted to let you know, like, y'all like probably like months in dating and you like her. She's like, yeah, this is something that I like to do. 
Would you let me do this? She likes to eat ass. I mean, this is something that she's... No! Hey, bro. She gotta get over it. The fuck am I gonna eat my ass? That's fucking weird. You gonna eat her ass? No! <laughs> I don't what? eat ass. Alright, so what if one time, like, she's, like, giving you head one time, uh-huh. and then she, like... <laughs> Just goes a little south? <laughs> she started doing her thing. And then they say, like, the anus is, like, has, like, what, what, what is it? The G spot? It's like a male G spot. There you go. There you go. There you go. So, yeah. That G thing. And then you, you just get, you get hit. And then, <laughs> the fuck is you talking? All right, bro. It's the, it's weird that we talk about this and then you go and take it to there. Fam. Conversation. Next topic. Next topic, bro. That's next so topic. accurate, though. Next topic. Well, you know that, uh, <laughs> that, that, that G thing. thing. <laughs> no, no, fam. I can't right, say so it. I can't <laughs> say it. Next topic. Next topic. Next topic, then. Next topic. Go ahead, man. What are you talking about? Dev just hit the coach right away. That was the ceiling? Yeah, that was. <laughs> all right. Uh, all you, the, um, the, um, the, um, high school team. Yeah. That yeah. high school team. So there's a team that. Uh, no, <laughs> fuck, bro. You got it. Do a different segue or some shit. You can't just like try to stumble onto a different topic. I mean, we're going at it. Yep. Sycamore. Bishop Sycamore. Bishop Sycamore. Bishop Sycamore. Sycamore. Bishop Sycamore. Shout out to them, bro. They're, they're the finesse so what, guys what, in the fucking this, century right now. Story? So shout out to uh, what was it again? Bishop, Bishop Sycamore. Sycamore. Shout out to Bishop. <laughs> Sy- shout out to Bishop Sycamore. They finesse their way to ESPN, bro. So like, sure shout did. out to them. They they was like some fucking uh, online school, they they, online charter school, online charter school that put in like they they paperwork as like some like top fucking. Nice, they nice made man. like fake brochures and mm-hmm. all that shit, right, to bring kids in. Has like they, a whole like athletic like. Coaches, shit like that. So they they put themselves up as like a fucking high school football team to go against the top football team somewhere else on ESPN, and that shit got televised, bro. Like, and they was like, they was like, they had like a bunch of fucking top fucking D one division prospects and shit, and these niggas was like fucking. 30 year olds, 20 year olds, Juco fucking. So like retired Juco players. <laughs> retired, retired Juco, Juco players, players, bro. But the funny fact is, the niggas lost. Yeah. Like 8 to 0. 58 to 0. I heard the coach had a warrant for his arrest, too. Bruh. (laughs) And it's funny because I was watching a couple of videos of it, and the announcers were like, uh, who is number 50? We don't have a 54 on this list. Bro. (laughs) And it was a guy with a, it was so funny because it's so unorganized, and I don't know how they let that fly, but that shit's hilarious, bro. Shout out to Bishop Chicken. How did they get away with I made their jerseys. (laughs) <laughs> Since everybody out there lying and shit, nigga, fuck it. <laughs> Look at Bishop Sycamore, and that's the new that drops coming next. Hey, for real though. Wait, Bishop. but that one kid that interview said like uh, they fucking brought him in with like, here's the blueprints of the school. Did you see that shit? Mm-hmm. No, no. Yeah, he's like, oh, they showed us like pamphlets and like here's the blueprints. This is what the school's gonna be. <laughs> but no they pictures. Said, they said there was gonna be a Netflix show, like mm-hmm. a, like another Last Chance You or some shit. No yeah. way. Yeah, he's that's like, how yeah. they got him to uh, sign up. Yeah, and then he got signed up, and he's like, they brought us to these new houses, and they had us sleeping on the floor. Mm-hmm. We had to rob like Walmart and Craigers and like just all these places eat. just to eat. What the? This He's like, some like dude almost got stabbed. Like, this shit was going like down. They definitely should turn this into a Netflix special. They should have had a Netflix How did, something. yeah, it should be like, how did. There's going to be a documentary. It's like, got like, bro. <clears throat> That's crazy. But shout out to them, bro. They finesse guys. Bro. 2021 is just going crazy. What did bro. they gain from that, Huh? What did they gain from that, Recognition for what? And you're on ESPN, people are watching you, prospects and stuff? Yeah, they probably took it as a different... They could have did something with it, but they lost. They got bro. caught. And they lost. I, they, I think they were going to get caught eventually. It's not like they was they was going to go somewhere else. But if those players were actually good at balling out, and they mm-hmm. had, like, they were 18, and they had, like, just My thing is, like, age. if those players <clears throat> were, like, Juco players, how did they not know that something was up when they were getting recruited by F? High school team. I don't know, dude. Hey, man. There's some there's some hidden uh, stories that we need, though. There's probably more stories can come out. See how should, should we try to get one of them on an interview? Hey, anybody from, from Bishop? Uh, what is that shit called? Bishop what? 
Bishop Sycamore. Bishop Sycamore. Tag yeah. somebody you know that went there. <laughs> we need the interview. We need somebody to come up here and tell us what the fuck happened, bro. I'm out from Ohio. From Ohio. You know people out in Ohio. Let's see Let's what's go. up, bro. Get that connect. We're going to get that connect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make it happen. Make it happen. Shout out to them. Shout out Bishop Sycamore. I don't know about shout out to them, bro. bro shout out to them, bro. <laughs> they got them. They, they finesse that shit. That's a good one. How right. you going to get the, Yo. No, nah, that's a good. Bro, they, got, they did it. I don't know how many people was on the team, but you brought your whole motherfucking squad to ESPN. How nobody caught on to this, I don't understand. The, the fact that it's zero. It's like 20 something year olds lost to some like 17, 18, 19 year olds. And that's football. wild to me. Yeah, but those 18, 19 year olds are like the top of the top. Still that was like one of the top teams, right? Yeah. They low key can play college. They probably didn't even have no plays out there. They were just lining up with <laughs> dog. <laughs> It's not enough to get dog out there. Fucking cry, dude. <laughs> Man, that's just hilarious. Somebody said Cam Newton should go play for that team. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Poor Cam Newton, bro. I hate how they do it, my guy. They do it, my guy. Is that that's fucked up. up. That's fucked up. They, they said Cam Newton should go play for that they team. They fucking, they just booted my guy for Mac Jones. That's fucked up. Why'd they boot him? They said, uh... Something about the vaccine. It was. It was. It was, it was I guess the vaccine was a big deal about it, which was kind of stupid, but whatever. Hell no! Nah, I told you that shit was about oh, to be a better. Oh, what I wanted races. to bring up too. You know the hurricane that's happening in New Orleans. Oh, it's oh, shit's crazy. Yeah, so it's really bad out there. Still didn't do nothing about you the know, levees. The what? Huh? So the the owner of the Saints, she donated a million dollars. I saw that today, and I was like, all right, like that's hella generous. Let me see your net worth. What's her net worth? Like some three point four billion dollars, oh, and I was like, right, let, me, let me do the math of the comparison Nigga, she to gave like a dollar away. Like <laughs> you have the no, the compa <laughs> yo, I, I did that comparison too. So I was like, all right, let's see, let's let's do, let's divide it. Ten dollars. You know how much percent of, it, of her net worth that much was? How much? Point zero 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 two percent. God damn. And I did that for me. And it's like seventeen bucks for me. You're way too worried about other people's money. <laughs> no, I just think she benefits <laughs> off the people in New Orleans and she should put more money into it. That's how she gets all her money. Really you ain't done any shit. So that's why I bring that up. She gonna write it off anyway. That's it's definitely so, a write-off. But I'm just saying, <laughs> it's less than less than a percent of your net worth. She should just open up the fucking stadium and let everybody live there. She did that already. Back in the day, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I, don't know, I don't I don't think to you Louisiana get and the people in the storm and people that getting affected by the storm and people that get lost their life in the storm. Fuck that bitch. That's the best for you. <laughs> I don't think you can get mad about a donation. Yeah, can't any get mad donation about donation is a good donation. Right, any donation. So Yeah, it is, but I mean if that's if she was like point point zero 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 two, that's to her nigga. <laughs> Go ahead and donate your seventeen bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Will it make a difference? It will. I make so, a difference. I, I've donated to uh, Trash Island and the Coral Reefs. What? What? Yeah, that's a weird. That's a weird fact. What is that? Me. Trash Island. It's a big it's island. All the plastic. It's all shit. the plastic. It's like that. an actual island in yeah. the ocean. It's, it's like floating though, right? Yeah, it's a floating. It's a floating. It's, big, it's a big trash. And what island. do they do with it? I they think it's like where it all the currents hit, mm -hmm. so everything just comes together. Right. And they're trying to clean it. They're trying to clean it up. Yeah. Oh, how much you put it? Like five bucks? Five oh, bucks. Oh, that's dope. That in the coral reefs. You're trying to save the coral reefs too. So make sure y'all donate. Shout out to the coral reefs. Yeah. And Shout all the pandas out. and koala bears out there. And make sure y'all donate to the uh, <laughs> Red Cross. <laughs> the Red Cross. You take coral reef though, right? Yeah. Like in the ocean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't like you the said pandas and koala bears. So <laughs> 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 yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, they died too. It was a weird transition. No. Yeah. Uh, pan oh, you said pandas? Yeah, pandas. Pandas are not instinct anymore. They're not. They cool. Fuck a panda, then. <laughs> <laughs> Cheetahs? Why the fuck are they on like the the what, wildlife foundation? They still like the logo and shit like that? Yeah. Panda I cute. I donate to Greenpeace. What the fuck is that? That's like that shit that they supposedly fixed the world. I don't know where that money goes. They fixed the world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that money do you, goes. Do you donate to anybody? I don't. Any, any organization? No. I don't. And you got fucked up from that Coney shit? 
Nah, what? Yo, you ain't trust nobody since Coney. Wait, wait. It's you Coney. remember Coney like back in the day? Remind me, remind me. Uh, remind it was me some that. like some dude talking about Coney. It was like uh, wait, some Coney shit. Like, nah, no, nah. No, it no. was like uh, K O N Y, and it was like some donation to go save some people for some from some president that's like taking over some shit. But it was, was all it a scam. At, where was it at? Like what country? I don't want to say Africa, but somewhere around there. Okay, I know. Yeah, I think I did. I think I remember that. That was like, what, like six years ago? Yeah, it was about like, it was probably like, it was like Coney, like 2012 or something, Yeah, it was like some shit like that. I for sure donated to them, I think I got scared. Yeah, that was the biggest scam. They got a class action lawsuit for that? No, no, Shit, probably not. I gave them like 20 bucks. Probably not, but yeah. Inflation, so that's probably a hell of money. So you don't donate to nobody now? I don't donate to No, not You got trust issues? Not because of that. I just don't donate. I don't know what's down with you. So where do you think the money's really going with you? That I donate? Yeah. You Honestly, believe I in it? No clue. <laughs> they every time I call them, they try to up my donation, so I just don't call them anymore. <laughs> you try to call so them. So you scared? Like <laughs> you try to call them for what? Have a conversation with these niggas? <laughs> 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 no, I try to I try to lower my donation. <laughs> I was like, I dude, I'm what, paying three dollars. No, I was paying fifteen dollars a month. I was like, let me just yeah. lower it to ten real quick. I, I called them, and they ended up <laughs> trying to go. Oh, that? we actually were gonna ask you to up your donation to twenty dollars. So I ended up upping my donation to seventeen dollars. I negotiated. <laughs> what? They finessed you out of two dollars. Like, yeah, so I got now 10, I'm two dollars out of this guy. Yeah, they probably use a sympathy thing. Like, oh, you really gonna? Uh, yeah, I was about to lower, and they were like, "We were actually about to ask you for more." So we got these fires going on. Yeah, they, they said something <laughs> like that. I was like, <laughs> "All right, so yeah, I heard that uh that that whole rollout of the Donda shit." <laughs> <laughs> what you think about that rollout? Actually, I want to get I into thought, that before we talk about the album. Yeah, fuck that album. The rollout the roll was made. I thought it was genius. Mm -hmm. It was genius. No one's, ever, way, no one's ever done it. Fuck anybody has ever done it. Was it, bro? He didn't. He let everybody listen to the <clears> album <throat> at least four or five times without even dropping the album. Yeah. Probably mm -hmm. made like three billion off just streams of mm -hmm. just performing it and like then, a circus, bro. He went around you, cities. You think the. <clears throat> the shit he said, Universal leaked it or whatever. You think that's real? Nah, I think that's a problem. <clears throat> I think, okay, I think it's one of two scenarios because, mm. you know, people got pissed that they weren't on the album. Right. So, so that was either to cover his ass, like, mm -hmm. oh, well, they leaked it. I didn't finish the album yet. Mm -hmm. Right? So you weren't on there because I didn't finish it or some shit, right? Like, right. cover his ass. Or it was PR and so is everybody else. Right, PR for everybody else. Everybody PR, mm -hmm. you know, just PR campaign. Soldier exactly. Boy is trending right now, tweeting fucking about <laughs> Kanye every five seconds. One thing that it was weird is I have the app, the um, Adidas confirmed app, mm -hmm. and they sent me a message saying that you can buy the the album. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's weird. Like, if you ten bucks, you buy the album. I'm like, why would I do that if I have Apple? You know. Is, is something gonna happen? Like, is he gonna get in like a lawsuit with them, and they're gonna cut like Donna from Apple, and you know people who buy? No, there's people have... who still buy no, albums rather than. Oh, really? Okay, I don't. Yeah. Know. It just probably maybe I'm just out of touch. Probably it was just probably no, contractually they probably had like probably exclusive people releases. Who are out of touch. Mm. Okay. Some people just like business wise they had like exclusive releases. Like Apple probably had the exclusive like stream release mm -hmm. of like when he was just streaming it and shit like that. But now like the album drops on all platforms. Adidas has like this ten dollar fucking shit with people that don't have the access to fucking Apple and shit. Cause people still go through like fucking SoundCloud and shit. That's true. <clears throat> I, I didn't think that. I just thought of yeah. it. Oh. Uh, yeah. The album was good though. I like. I enjoyed the album. I need to keep listening to it. I'm gonna treat it like Jesus. Mm. Uh, I didn't. I was whatever at first, and then I kept listening. I was like, okay, I like it. I like the songs with Rory on it. And shout out to uh, the one with Jay Z. Yeah, the song with Jay Z. That was a sick album. <laughs> I think he made it. it. He remade it and did, did one with like Marilyn Monroe. Was Marilyn it? Manson. Marilyn and Manson. The baby. <laughs> Who's the fuck? Marilyn Monroe. Who the fuck? <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. She is dead. <laughs> both, oh, I was about to say both of them is dead, but yeah. Wait, didn't <laughs> the baby say he got cut from like his song and then it, I feel like it was on there? Yeah, uh, it was it some was bullshit. A, no, they, yeah, they, it was some like <clears throat> kind of leaking tweets about how his, his manager went clearing it and shit like that. Mm. Yeah, but it, still on the album. <clears throat> I think it's all PR. Uh, end of the day, uh, Kanye's really good at it's, stirring up the pot and bro. So yeah, <clears throat> he's like the you think you think the he, non drama six nine. You think <laughs> he knew everybody was thinking he was gonna drop it the day of Drake's album? I thought so. And then he's like, all right, let me flip the script back mm. and drop it. And it was leaked. 
That's what I think. Mm. I think he's like, all right, now everybody expects it to, to be a competition with Drake. Well, let me flip it back and throw right. everybody off again. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? You think Drake's going to kill him? Um, so? I don't think they're in the same lane anymore. This is, this is what I say about the whole like Drake and Kanye thing. Drake's going to outsell him. The reason why? Women mm. love him. Yeah. So mm. they're going to... You know, men love him too. Women love the shit out of him. And usually, we, we, are we women, talking long term or first week? I'm talking. Well, I'm talking. You know how the first week, first week sale. And like, I just, I'm just, I'm just Kanye saying, like charting wise, I think Kanye already sold. I think yeah. like 300k first week. Yeah, bro. So but I'm saying got like billions, bro. I'm saying <laughs> yeah, he broke the streaming record. <laughs> but I'm. I don't think Drake's gonna beat him first week. I think he'll beat him long term. Yeah. We'll see. But you if know. we're talking like first to like diamond. Bro, well, Drake is not, see the album. Drake we'll is not album. performing the shit at Macy's, at, not Macy's, at the Mercedes fucking arena. Macy's. By the time this episode <laughs> comes out, the album will be out. Yeah. Right now, we're not fucking up. This would be a new segment. <laughs> Relationship advice for Surge. <clears throat> so, how's the dating going? It's all right. It's all right? Yeah. Pandemic. Did you switch your girls like, what, every month and a half or yeah. like... Month and a half? No, that's too much. Too can't, much? Like, can't deal with that. What you do? Three how, many, how many are you running at a time? Like five? What's the duration? Six? What's their duration? Hey, what do you mean a duration? <laughs> like the talking duration. When do you get a, all right, this is enough. Let me let me get out of here. You oh, when it's like I need to go? Yeah, flea flicker. <laughs> you give it a flea flicker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> couple months. Two couple months? months? Two, two, three months? months? Yeah. Got out of here? Depends on the flags. Um, how many flags are showing, you know? Boy, how many flags do you got? Uh, I have one. One. Just one flag? One red flag, I'm out. Hold up, but is that like you? No, not that. <laughs> I like you just like on some crazy shit. Wait, that's your <clears throat> limit? You have multiple red flags, but your limit is one as soon as you Maybe see two. one? Maybe two. Depends on the girl. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Now, thanks for explaining that. Because it's yeah. like, it once on you girl. see one flag, there's gotta be right? a, a few different offense, offenses. That yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, what's your red flag? But your you limit is one? No, it could be two, depending on the girl. Wow, two. Oh, shit. This How thing, many like, flags y'all go through? Y'all like shit. Cool it really flags? depends on what the flag is. Like, yeah. I, but these are I red. let ten I, little flags go. No, I'm talking. These are red flags. Okay, give some flags. examples of some red flags. Yeah. Like one, one she's crazy. What do you mean? Okay, crazy? how? One like too clingy, a... too clingy, too soon. That's crazy. Oh my god, that's it. <laughs> you, All right, go ahead. My fault. Go ahead. What woman? else? What else? That's not a red flag. That's not a red. That means she likes you, fam. No, I'm saying there, you could tell the difference between someone liking you and it's too clean. Okay, I, I get your, I get where you're going with that. All right, yeah. that's because I just feel like right now this segment is I'm getting judged. Uh, so hey, y'all just gonna give me advice? Or gonna we go, like, we gotta get tough. to the part. Okay. We gotta judge you to in order to give you the advice. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna judge Last me? Last I checked, you were the single one. So. <laughs> you act like it's a bad thing. Hey man, nah, it is bad. Yeah. <laughs> in the society and world, you call <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> But, but yeah, murder is so, only uh, bad in the society's world. Let's, <laughs> let's let me think. Red flags. Like I said, way too clean, too soon. Way too clean. Okay. Um, no money. What about broke? Uh, some ambition. They have to have ambition. Ambition. Oh, can't, can't be lazy. Say, 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 what? What is broke? You gotta have ambition. Yeah, you can't be lazy. So you can be broke, but as long as you have ambition. Ain't nobody that got ambition is broke. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah. <laughs> not independent. I guess I go with ambition, right? Okay. Just like depending on somebody, that's not that attractive. Yeah. Um, I'm, thinking, I'm trying to think more. Should have wrote these down. Um, <laughs> we didn't know what we were talking about. <laughs> Boy, just be seeing flags and like, I don't like that. It's over. <laughs> hey. You, you ever used to watch Seinfeld? <laughs> Remember George Costanza used to like fucking George break up? He's the short uh, fat guy. The short uh, fat guy in uh, Seinfeld? He used to get mad about like, the smallest shit and just break up with a female like oh yeah yeah <laughs> no she she ordered ketchup with her let with her okay, i'm uh, not like that dude i'm not like that you sure you no sure? yeah I'm you're not. close bro it's like <laughs> no i'm not i'm not like that dude you like the same height as george i'm not george constanza at all all right man i don't know you're how giving, that, I don't you're giving me that science bill vibe bro you didn't even know who george constanza was <laughs> but, I knew, but I, knew oh, it, I knew what you're talking about though <laughs> no you did not i said don't hit me with the it's not you it's me it is me. I know what the fuck you're talking about. Yep. There you go. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Stanley. No, I'm not George Stanley. Yeah, you that dude. Hey, <laughs> pluck a few hairs. You're right there. Bro. You'll be right there. So get bald. But anywho, 
So my advice to you is like, <laughs> give them, go through, go through like a, you know, uh-huh. amusement uh-huh. park. Uh-huh. Nah, go through amusement park. Give them like six flags or so. Yeah. You no, know, go through the roller coaster okay. of liking them and not liking them. Cause you know, you go through them down, but then you come right back what up. What does that mean though? Explain that. I mean, like, not everything is gonna be so kind of make and cream. kind of make a problem. Not make a problem. Uh-huh. Enjoy yourself, but when you see a problem, see yourself through to the solution. Gotcha. Okay. So it's gonna go down, and then but it's gonna like, go okay. higher. Okay. You know. Mm. Right now, you hitting the eject button. Yeah, you eject those seat, though, cuz. I just get to the bottom. You say, "Oh, fuck this shit." <laughs> Get up out of there, so that's my that's what I said. So six flags and that was just a that's nah, good I, I, that was just that's a bar. That was just advice. a quick bar. Alright, what do you got? I ain't got no advice for you, bro. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> What was that shit we were talking about the other day? It was like make a baby, just fuck around and just Oh have, yeah, they, that was the advice. They, they, yeah. they said, oh no, was it? No, it was, was germ. Germ suggested that I should just <laughs> knock up a random girl and yeah. I'd, be, I'd be happy. Yeah, because you won't have no attachments. You gonna love the kids, so it don't matter. You know what I mean? Mm, fuck that. And you always gonna have that relationship with a female, but you don't have to have that complete relationship. You feel me? No, I'm not having a baby just because I'm bored. Hey, fam. Sometimes yeah. people get a dog. Don't do it because you're bored. <laughs> you do it because you want a kid. Nah. I'm do you good. want a kid? I do, but not with some random chick. I'm just saying. Don't don't let it be random. Be like you know, well picked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like let it hit like 70, 80 percent of like. The right marks. Like, yeah. Okay. But and don't knock it. it up. Yeah, just knock it up. Just be like, yo, nah. Okay. I'd rather have a I'd rather bring a baby with two stable parents. Y'all both stable, you just not They're not living together and having yeah. a family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't get I'm not living with third if she's not. Hey, what do you mean? You this chick is random? Not random, bro. If you well don't work picked. out with her, you can find a stable one. Bro, how do you expect me to have a baby if I can't even take care of myself? You can't. What are you talking about? Sorry, ladies account. of the world. <laughs> You're Sergio. Account. I can take care of... Yeah, money-wise, it's cool, but I'm not like... Bro, I want to sleep in. I don't want to wake up for a baby. <laughs> the fuck I look like? <laughs> fuck this nigga. He said, fuck this kid. Hey, I'm being honest, man. That's no, a I'm lot of guys you can't excuse. say that. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, but I feel like that's a so wait, so excuse. So what is, your, what is your idea that when you find... A partner, she's yeah. just gonna wake up and you gonna sleep in all the time. No, I'm just saying I, I'm not ready for that right now. I do want a kid, but I'm not ready for it right now. And you guys suggested knock up somebody right now, and that's why. Hey, you said you wanted to meet somebody and have a kid. I said just do one of them. Yeah, you can do just both. Just knock the kid out the way. Yeah, nah. Horrible advice from you. Had some good advice. I, you know, I give props for the roller coaster thing. Hey man, that was good advice. This guy, you only man. I'm all right. It's all good. This guy, I need to work on his advice. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I don't even use my own advice sometimes. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, so that concludes our episode of Half That. This is episode, episode 50. 50. Yep. All right, awesome. so make sure y'all like and subscribe. Follow us on all social media platforms. Boom. And tag yeah. uh, tag your friends at what's that place? Sycamore High School. <laughs> Bishop Sycamore. Shout out to Bishop Sycamore. Tag and make sure y'all comments. order your yeah, Simplicity and Company Camouflage shorts. Nigga, they out. All right. <laughs>